Morning Guitar League. Today's job is we are going to attempt to replace this bridge with a brand new Martin Rosewood bridge. Somebody had uh, super glued the pins and the, and the uh, saddle in this thing. I took them out. I got the guitar to work, uh, but this the space this bridge is just shot. To make a long story short. So I wanted to show you the, I made myself a nice little uh, protector out of cardboard and aluminum to protect the guitar while I'm working on it. Uh, I found some tools. I went to Goodwill just on senior day. I went to Goodwill and uh, bought a few things. And one of them was like, this was a two piece spatula type thing. I sharpened it up and I'm going to use it to help pry that off. I found this crazy thing at Goodwill. It's called a bed head. Okay, it's a flat surface that heats up and has a temperature gauge on it. it has a high and low gauge and I'm going to use that to heat up my bridge along with probably moistened uh, just some moistened cloth on here to help just a little steam on it not much you got to protect the rest of the guitar and also a hairdryer to keep it hot so um, if this doesn't work you'll never see this video <laughs> but I'll take pictures of it as it goes along uh, and I'll show you some of the pictures of what this thing looked like when I first got it so uh, I'll be right back Okay, before we get started, I just wanted to show you what, a little preparation that we did here. Um, we taped this old bridge all around this old bridge so that hopefully we don't mark up the guitar. Plus, the tape should give me a, a good idea of where the placement of the new bridge. The new bridge is just a teeny, weeny, weeny bit bigger, which I think is a good thing. So, um, that's our first step. Then we're going to we're going to heat this up. We'll show you as we go along uh, the steps that we take. But the next one is we're going to heat this up for a while and then we're going to slowly start to get underneath it and see how long this takes. Okay, here's the first step. We're going to uh, put that on the bridge. We have it at medium heat here. It's on. We're going to put it on there for about five minutes and see what happens. Then we're gonna add a little moisture. We have a cloth with a little teeny bit of moisture. I don't want it to be dripping, so I'm just letting it dry out a little bit before I put it on there. Then I'm gonna have little tools. I have sharp little um, smaller chisels, but I'm not gonna chisel, obviously. I'm just trying to get underneath it. I have different tools for getting underneath it. And then this guy that I showed you. So we will see what happens in the next chapter. <laughs> We're right in the middle of it now. We're upside down. I'm on the other side of it. And uh, I actually got a putty knife underneath it. I've tried a bunch of different tools. So far this one's working. And I'm trying to keep it warm while I'm going. This little crazy little tool does not hit the, it sits up off of the guitar. So, so far so good. This end's just falling apart over here. So we'll see how it all works out. I'll get back in a minute. Okay, here we're back. <laughs> we're getting close. Remember this has been on here for 43 years. So I actually cheated a little bit. I got it to come up and come off. Still hot. There's a lot of little chips of guitar here. I'm hoping we can save this all when we put the new one up. Sand this all down. And hopefully we can fit the new one on there. So we'll see what happens. I don't know if you can see, but there's a this is pretty well chipped uh, in the back. The 
this. But uh, I think it's savable. So we'll see. Okay, I wanted to just give you a little summary of where we are so far on this. Obviously, we you know we've got the bridge off. This is the new bridge. It's a Martin uh, bridge. Unfortunately, when you place it on and you line up the holes, it leaves a lot of the finish uncovered because they are, they finished this guitar, then they put the the bridge on. So. I measured it, I think I'm going to be able to move the bridge back a little bit to cover all the finish and I'm going to drill new holes. I, so that I don't make my holes too big, I found a thin piece of wood, I think it's oak, uh, cut it to size and I put it inside underneath and glued it right over those holes so that if I'm drilling behind the hole hopefully it just doesn't elongate into one big giant hole that's the plan and um, I went out I didn't have the right size clamps so I ran out yesterday and I got some five inch deep clamps I got three of these I just ran up to Harbor Freight and for $5.49 each, I got these really cool uh, clamps. And I test fitted it already. I did a dry run, making sure the clamps would fit on here. And I'm gonna use these uh, cut out pieces that I had from my, uh, my aluminum cover that I made, my protecting cover. I'm gonna use those as calls to hold down the ends, the two ends, of the bridge and the middle. And I'm gonna take a big chance here. Normally you would glue it on and then you would drill. I'm going to try to set it all up, mark one hole, the problematic hole, drill a small hole there so that I'm then able to uh, put a bridge pin in the hole line up the other one, bark it, drill a hole, and put two, so you're gonna have two bridge pins in, plus my clamps uh, holding this in, keeping it lined up. Then when it's dry, probably in two days, I am going to then drill out the rest of the holes, okay? Uh, also, there's a lot of glue, and like I said, and the finish, they, they glued right over the finish. So I'm trying to do my best to get that down so that this glue, I'm going to use tile bond, tight bond, glue. And I know this glue won't stick to itself. If you have old glue like this on there, this glue won't stick to it. So you gotta try to get all the glue off. So that's the update. We'll uh, show you as we go along, as we get it clamped and drilled. Okay, since last we spoke, I, uh, I drilled out the two end pins, holes. I drilled those out so that I could line it up. Lines up pretty good now. I took it off. Made sure it was super clean. I got as much of the old glue off as I could. I really put a lot of glue on. So I've been with a wet paper towel taking off the glue as it, as it uh, seeps out. Uh, I put petroleum jelly on the two pins that I have in there and I've taken them in and out uh, a time or two to make sure that they, <laughs> they don't get glued in there. So uh, that's where we are right now. We're probably now, I'm gonna let this thing sit for probably two days and come back to it and see what happens. Wish me luck. Okay, if you're watching this, the job must have been a success. Yes, it was. It's all finished now. We have the new bridge on it, we have a bone saddle that we sanded down to fit inside here very nicely. 
We have new bridge pins. We drilled that out, put new bridge pins in. Uh, I got really lucky with the intonation. It, it's intonated perfectly, even though I moved it back quite a bit, probably a 16th of an inch or something back. It's probably better than it was before. So, and it plays pretty well. So, I wouldn't try this at home with a 43-year-old Martin, but I had a 43-year-old Martin Sigma guitar that's a lot less expensive, but I love it. So I uh, decided to do my first bridge replacement on it, and it was a success. So if you got any old guitars laying around your house that need a new bridge that aren't real expensive, give it a try. Otherwise, take it to a luthier. <laughs> All right, we'll see you in the next Quick Tips video. Goodbye.